Not long ago, a video of Chinese women selling jianbing on New York Street hit the internet, bringing about this particular and amazing street food to become an international goodie. A long history of jianbing guozi started in the northern Chinese city of Tianjin. Tianjin jianbing guozi dated from the 28th of Guangxu years. Wang De Lu, the first generation of the inheritors, settled in Tianjin with his uncle when he was 13 years old. In early Qing Dynasty, Wang De Lu set up a small restaurant on Daxing Street at Nanshi, Tianjin, selling breakfast and midnight snack. One day, a conversation between the two neighbors intrigued Wang De Lu above Jianbing, how to make it nutritive, delicious, and meet the taste of rich and famous back then. Wang De Lu put a lot of sauce on the ingredients of Jianbing making. Old Chinese medicine believes healthy supplements nurse bodies. Herbs can be ground and added into jianbin batter as spices. As well as turtle eggs, these ingredients tonify qi and can help nourishing vitality. Today, the making process of Tianjin jianbin guozi is listed as intangible cultural heritage. Wang Yang, the fourth generation heir of Jianbing, inherited his father's business in 2014 and now runs De Lu Jai, a century old reputable brand. One of the main features of De Lu Jai's Jianbing is taking a dozen of grounded spices into Mu Bin batter, not only for improving taste, but also benefiting health. For example, one of our main ingredients is clove. The main benefit of clove is clearing heat and nourishing the summer. One thing we do differently from anybody else is using dried ginger, adding dried ginger to balance out the cold and cool of the mum bean. Good ingredients and superb skills are bound to get popular with customers. Most of the people came to eat here are tourists from all over China. They heard of the famous Tianjin Jianbing Guozi and wanted to have a taste of it. Besides Jianbing, Guobiru is also their specialty. They've made the Guobiru real thin and crispy. Guobiru is something held from Tianjin. Bunch of half-finished yu tiao, take two pieces, twist, pull, fry the yu tiao for a little longer. The thinner part will become crispier and very delicious. So sometimes customers ask to make their yu tiao thinner and to be deep fried. At last, yu tiao came to be Guobiru. To comply with the change of times, Wang Yang introduced Jianbing gift box. Guobiru, South and Jianbing can be sealed and air shipped to all over China. He has also turned the store into a 24 operation, so customers who want to eat later at night can have a tasty Jianbing guozi as well. Now time doesn't matter. If you like, you can have it morning or night. Any time is a good time to eat jianbing. At Wang Yang's restaurant, there are several display windows containing old things from his ancestors. Stone meal that green spice, china drawer that holds sauce, the hamper of a good delivery in the old time. Behind every object, there is encouragement from forefather to the later generations. TJTV World.